There are some things in this world that go way beyond human understanding. Things that cannot be explained. Things that most people don't want to know about. That is where we come. Do you know what the most frightening thing in the world is? It's fear. We all go a little mad sometimes. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. What an excellent day for an exorcism. It's all true. The boogeyman is real. Children of the night, what music they make. They're here. And... Good evening, and welcome back to Ghost Ghost Freaking Freaking Talking. All right, guys, welcome to week three, Ghost Freaking Talking. Man, we've been here for three weeks now. Dude, how are you guys not sick and tired of us? Right. Uh, I want to thank everyone that's been uh, watching our our programs. Uh, I really appreciate it. And any kind of feedback you want to give us, uh, please leave it down in the comment section at these videos. Um, but you have reached Ghost Freaking Talking, so if this is your first time, welcome to the show. My name is your humble host, Nick. And I am Trenton. Yeah, my co-host here is my son, Trenton. We are a father-son duo team. Uh, I, I, I say we have a fascination with the paranormal. And I'm like the shaggy of the group. I don't like it, but I also like it at the same time. <laughs> He's still like Scoob, like totally, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, he is the shaggy of the group, and I'm more of the Fred, right? Yeah, yeah you're yeah. more of the leader. Yeah, I, yeah. so uh, uh, welcome to week three. If you guys haven't, uh, the link for the other programs will be right there. Oh, yeah, boom, it's, it's boom, there. Boom. Boom. So go back and watch right. those. And we will be releasing uh, other videos on this channel. Uh, we will be releasing some found footage stuff and some classic footage stuff of different hunts and stuff we've been on. But uh, we'd like to start off the show with giving a little recap. How has your week been? Uh, uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, you know, just, you know, it feels like a week. Yeah. So uh, it, 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 feels like this week went by pretty fast um but uh we did go out today and had a little bit of fun right uh yeah we oh uh, first of all we started going to like the walmarts and everything for the clearance and then we went to go do some photo shoots uh yeah so if you're talking about clearance uh we usually don't bring our lego infatuation into the show but uh we went to walmart for a bunch of lego clearance and we decided to go and do a photo shoot today because Last week you weren't able to be there for the photo shoot when I did the photo shoot for our merch. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I was. I think it was fate for me not to be there. All right, because uh, we took you to the two spots that I took my photos in with our t-shirts, and we had a little bit of activity go on today. Uh, it was huge. Yeah, it's the most scariest thing I've ever witnessed in my entire life. All right, so I don't know if the the footage will be up before or after this video goes live, but uh, I will put the footage up because we were running video when we had an experience out there at Mactown uh, Forest Preserve in Roscoe or Rockton, Illinois. We don't. Um, it, it's we an don't old. Know where it's it an is. old uh, uh, trading post stop, and the building is very old, and there has been uh, activity that has been out there so it it, it's uh it it, it got us today it got us good it it did it 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 got me good uh without uh, expanding too much on it because uh you'll probably want to go and watch this video when it's up this one right here yeah Uh, so uh tell me what happened the ghost went bang and i went ah and i started running (laughs) 
All right. Well, that was a little vague. Uh, <laughs> but when we were out there filming, uh, taking pictures and stuff around this house, because uh, we weren't in it because the whole place is locked up, and I, you probably have to get permission to go in these places. Uh, but while you know taking pictures and stuff, we kept hearing knocks and bangs on the windows and the doors there. And uh, you just happened to go up to one of the windows, and when you went to go bang on the window, it, it banged back at you. Yeah. I hit the window like I was telling you something about something. Well, anyway, I knocked on the window and it knocked back. And I have never seen this kid run so fast in my life. Uh, he was, boom, gone like a jackrabbit, man. And the thing is, is that I heard the bang as well because I, I, you were a little bit off camera maybe when I was doing it. But uh, uh, you could definitely hear on the video that you went, bang. And then you took off, dude. Yeah. Um, and uh, we got your your expression, your your look on your face of pure terror. Uh, like I said, it was because I didn't have my guard up. And it spooked me. I told you, the ghost went bang. I went, ah, and I ran. Yeah. And, and it was just a weird set of coincidences today because uh, uh, our resonant ghost here in our house, because if you are not aware, we do have a resonant ghost in our house, our ghostesses, multiple ghosts. Uh, and we have a lot of activity that happens in our house, but the activity has been quiet as of the last few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. Until this morning, um, I, I heard banging going around in the in our laundry room at first. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, then uh, to me. And then when I went in to check that out, I'm like, there's nothing going on. So I come walking through the kitchen, and boom, all these dishes get smacked off of our countertop uh, onto the floor. And it wasn't like dishes just fell, you know. It was like uh, somebody literally went over to the dishes and slapped them onto the floor because uh, just the, the amount of projectiveness that happened to those dishes. Yeah. And unfortunately, I went to go grab my camera at the time, and boom, batteries are all dead in all my cameras because we haven't been filming a lot lately. So uh, I then grabbed my spirit box, um, and then I started to do a little spirit boxing here in the kitchen, and I was getting voices through. I couldn't really pick, you know, pick out what they were really saying too much, but you heard it, uh, and the other kids heard it, and I, at one point a voice came across and said, Demon. Um, and, uh, later on in, in a future episode, I will give you my whole thoughts on demons and angels and stuff like that. Uh, how my exact feelings on these, but, um, yeah, it, it, I don't know some spirit saying that he was a demon or do we actually have an actual demon in the house? I don't know. But while I was doing the spirit box session, I hear you screaming at me from the other room and what happened? Uh, the toilet flushed by itself. Yeah. Our toilet flushed by itself and our toilet does not have the it doesn't flush by itself it's it, yeah it's not high tech yeah it's not <laughs> high tech and it's not one of those faulty you know flushers where it just you know accidentally flushes on its own all the time you can barely even flush it yourself yeah you can barely even move the handle on our on our toilet so uh for that sucker to flush on its own is uh is weird yeah it was really weird all right, so so it was just a wild day for us, uh, and of course now we are filming. Goes freaking talking. GFT number three, uh, and uh, if you guys have experiences of your own, please write them down and send them to ghostft at yahoo dot com. All right, so if you write us a story, we will make sure to read it right here on the air for Ghost Freaking Talking. Uh, unfortunately, this is our first week with no stories. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to go into our news section where we're going to pull up a news story that um, I, I kind of put off from last week, uh, but uh, it's just it's just something I have to, to go into this week. Uh, it's just because... It's so stupid, it's funny. It's so stupid, it's funny. Uh, so we'll read you that article. And then uh, to close out the show, we are going to do a quick trailer review on three movies that are going to be coming out here because it's coming into the horror movie time of the year and we will be reviewing uh we are going to be re reviewing it too yep uh scary stories to tell in the dark Ooh, my favorite and also 
Zombie Land 2 Zombie Double Tap. Zombie Land 2 Double Tap. And I have to say that I talked to somebody earlier this week after you sent me that trailer in a in a text. And they go, why do we need a Zombie Land 2? Zombie Land 1 was such a perfect movie that it didn't need to be done up. Same. That's, that's what I was thinking too. All right. So save that, that uh, your thought for it uh, when we go and review it and give us your thoughts of it. All right, guys. So... Stay tuned. We are going to go into the news. Into the news. We're going to talk paranormal news. And the story that stuck out to me this week will be, you'll have to wait and see after this break. And if you want your very own ghost freaking talking t-shirts, coffee cups, and heck, even dog bandanas, head to the link below. All right, guys, now it is time for the paranormal news. Now it's time for the paranormal news. And today in the paranormal news, we are going to bring you a story, and we're going to kind of go over a little bit and give our thoughts. How do, how do we even go over this? Of the story. Where do you even come up with these stories? All right, so last week... Uh, we talked about the new Conjuring house owners and beer drinking aliens. Yeah. Getting, and this is our first week, not talking about Area 51, but we got something cool for you guys, so stay tuned for this one. It's going to be cute. You're talking about a monkey. All right. This is coming straight from the sun. Um, and the title of the story is Spank the Monkey. Spank the Monkey, the ghost <laughs> of a masturbating ape. Haunts the hallways of a grand country <laughs> estate in Dorset. <laughs> I know. I, I, I love these story names. What? I love. I love all these stories, dude. Where do you okay. come up with these stories? <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, we are going to be reading a story of a masturbating ape. So, if you are weak of heart, please. Uh, Fast forward into our trailer reviews. Because uh-huh. <laughs> right now we're going to talk about a masturbating ape. All right. Haunted Athel Hampton Hall is a popular wedding venue with romantic spook hunters. The ghost of a randy monkey haunts the halls of a grand English country estate where the romantic spook hunters flock to tie the knot. All right. So... They're saying that people actually go to this place to get married by and hopefully get an experience of a masturbating ape. Hey, what do you want to do for a wedding? You want to go to a waterfall, a sandy beach? No, I want to go to a, a place where there's a masturbating freaking monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Titillated tourists can often hear the saucy specter laughing while masturbating in Athel Hampton Hall in Dorset, near Dorchester. <laughs> Dude, he's laughing. Wow. <laughs> well, don't we, don't we all? <laughs> no. While spanking the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, the monkey is spanking himself. Uh, uh, and the spooky venue even has soul-searching couples clamoring to have their weddings held there in hope of having the pervy primate appear in the background of their pictures. Hey, hon, you know what would be an awesome photo shoot? Yeah, just have the masturbating monkey just masturbating the back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I love this. Man. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I, at first, I'm like, this is bull. I'm like, this has to be a, a, a bad thing. But when I when I read this article, dude, it this is legit. This is some legit stuff that's going on here. Uh, the lovable apes afterlife antics have helped the hall to be named as one of the most haunted houses in England. After being listed on We Buy Any Homes list of the nine most ghostly properties. <laughs> the 15th century house was originally built by the Martin family, whose crest featured an excited monkey sitting on a tree stump. Mm. Man, yeah, lovely family crest. Yes. What? What's that? What's that monkey? Oh, your monkey has a hard on sitting on your family crest. The state's motto was, "He who looks at Martin's ape, Martin's ape will look at him." And then, 
proceed to masturbate on them. <laughs> and ever since the horny ghost of Martin's monkey has haunted the sprawling county pile, making it a go-to destination for curious phantom fanatics. One tourist dad of three, John Morrison, age 41, from Derby, who took his entire family to the estate, spoke excitedly about the spanking spook. He said, We heard that Martin the monkey who haunts the house loves to scratch his privates while swinging around. I mean, who doesn't? Okay, and if he's scratching, yeah. Huh? <laughs> now, so, so are they confusing his his scratching with masturbating? But I guess if he's got that full erection on their family crest, I don't know. Uh, we didn't see him, which is a shame. Aw, uh, so your kids didn't see a masturbating monkey. God darn it, Mommy. Oh, I want to go see the masturbating uh, monkey. Because it would have been a real sight. Oh, Junior. Hey, Junior. Come here and take a look at this masturbating monkey, would you? <laughs> what would you say if I took you guys and been like, all right, guys, We're pack ready. up. We're, we're flying over to England, right? I'd be like, yo, dun, we're going to... Dun, 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 We're going to go dun, see, dun. like, Doctor Who or something? Like, this film? No, we're going to no. go see a masturbating monkey. No, son. I want you to watch this masturbating monkey. And he's a ghost on top of it. <laughs> Apparently, he's not terrifying. Quite friendly is what we heard. Awfully friendly. According to the local legend, the unconventional Martin family did have a pet ape, which was free to wander the halls. And when one of the Martin daughters had an unhappy love affair and decided to kill herself, the compassionate monkey began following her around. When she climbed a set of hidden stairs to a secret room, the ape trailed behind and watched as she took her own life with the door bolted. Oh, poor monkey. He had to watch somebody die. So, um, hopefully he didn't masturbate while... She was killing herself. <laughs> okay, that's what exactly what I thought. <laughs> I like. Is he a necrophile? Is he a necrophile ape? Uh, by the time the family's search of the house and grounds eventually located the room, the ape had starved to death near her body. Oh, poor masturbating monkey. You can't just find any kind of masturbating monkey. Now it's ghost haunts the hall, often scratching at the paneling of the secret room and staircase. And an eternal frantic attempt to escape. Now, that's creepy. That's creepy if you've got the masturbating ape monkey room. And he's just... It's just clawing at claw, your claw, door. Clawing, get out. But the monkey is not alone. The house is reputed to have six other ghosts, all human. But are they masturbating? I was about to say that. Are they just masturbating? <laughs> Ethel Hampton has long been known as a haunted spot and featured on TV's Most Haunted in 2002. There has been a structure on the site since Saxton times. Andrea Cook, who has lived at the house with her family for more than 20 years, said she has witnessed all sorts of odd, inexplicable things. Uh, but while many people have a rational explanation, she said, there are always some which do not. Mm. What? Okay. okay. Can we just, like, applaud to you that you can actually read this time? Oh, oh, oh. Am I actually reading decent this time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah. then and then there was a the second thing I was going to say. How long is this story? <laughs> oh, th this is a pretty long story, dude. So that's, this is why we got one story this week. Uh, because we can't, we can't get enough masturbating apes. Dude, if you come across a story about a masturbating ape, you read the story about the masturbating ape. I feel bad for whoever had to write the story. All right. The most recent was a dark hooded figure which rushed past one of our cleaners. On the first sighting, she assumed she had imagined it, but ten minutes later, it came towards her again, up the old servant staircase, and hurried past her into a bathroom to furiously masturbate. No, that wasn't part of the story. Wait. <laughs> I wonder if this th there's a part of the story of why the apes masturbating. <laughs> well, are you waiting for a reason why the ape is masturbating? Yeah. Uh, she was terribly excited about it, having never witnessed such a thing. Uh, what this was makes no sense at all. It is a figure of our youngest son has seen on a couple of occasions, but the cleaner was unaware at the time. The speed all... Uh, the speed... There, you jinxed me, man. <sighs> Despite all this, it is an amazing place to live. It is a beautiful home. We are happy here and generally... It has a lovely atmosphere, despite the stories. 
Mm. With the masturbating monkey. With the masturbating monkey. Look at that. Look at that wild animal. It's just an ape in my hall masturbating. <laughs> what a beautiful sight. Come on, dearie. Let's go watch the new episode of Doctor Who. Right next to the masturbating ape. <laughs> uh, but on the odd occasion when something does occur, and I must stress, it is only occasionally... It reminds you that there are some things which are beyond our understanding. Which kind of like our house, dude. Uh, we don't have a masturbating ape. Um, kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. Uh, but people are like, oh, you know, stuff happens all the time at your house then, right? No, not really. I'm like, no, it kind of goes in spurts. Uh, there's some times where we have a ton of activity all at one time. And then there's times that we can go like a month or two months without like anything. Even happening. probably like six months at the most I've ever witnessed. Yeah, but it seems like the the further the spans are, the more intense it is when it does happen. So it builds up more energy over yeah, time. Yeah, I, I think that's what happens is that it builds up more energy. And then uses it, all of its energy at the one point, and then you just can't do anything afterwards. So you have to wait and wait for more and more energy. Mm, all right, so... Uh, a spokesperson from We Buy Any Home said, Whether you believe in ghosts or not, it's undeniable that some places, for whatever reason, just give us the creeps. Uh, which Take is true. Because <laughs> uh, we've walked into places uh, downtown, for example, when yeah. we walked into the, uh, the Veterans Hall. Uh, as soon as you walked through those doors, you, it knew, just hits you. you knew shit was happening there. Because uh, it hits you in the face like a ton of bricks. Um, uh, and also like your local thrift shop. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is like a national brand or not, but it's called hidden treasures. It's kind of like a thrift shop where a bunch of people can go in and buy little stalls and sell all their knickknacks and old stuff. Um, the first time we walked through that dude, it was like, it was Dang, yeah, bro. it was in, it was intense, and the last couple times I haven't felt it. So whatever might have had those uh, those uh, uh, spirits or whatever tied to it, I think might have been gone now. Uh, the the vendor must have left, or somebody must have bought it, or yeah. something. Yeah. So if you guys ever want, go into like an old store, and you could just feel the vibe that comes off of stuff. Which I would love to just buy stuff and just have it here in the house, since our house is already haunted. Nah, so fam. if you have any haunted artifacts, nah. send them to us. Nah, fam. Uh, don't, don't, don't send it. Give, give me your information at ghostft at yahoo.com. We will take anything haunted off your hands. And then we'll send it right back. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it be old-fashioned decor or eerie silence that hangs over the property or the footsteps on the landing of the dead of night, some properties give the feeling that they are maybe occupied by something or someone else. Andrea said that when her sons were younger, their friends refused to sleep over at Athol Hampton Hall because of doors being agitated. Figures at the end of your bed. Figures stood in doorways and the sound of rapid footsteps backwards and forwards in your bedroom. Okay. And a masturbating ape right over your face. Okay, I got a couple of questions, and I got a little little story, but it isn't really a story. Yeah. It's more of like a statement, but uh, why is the ape masturbating? That's my first <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they didn't really go into why the masturbating ape is a masturbating. And second of all, why do you have a, just a random ape in your house? Uh, because I believe having an ape back in that day was a sign of well wealth. Uh, you know, look at I have my ape. Michael Jackson had an ape. That's His name dope. was Bubbles. Hey, Bubbles. That's dope. Yeah, Michael Jackson had Bubbles. Hey there, Bubbles. Um, and he had like I think he had like giraffes and shit in his yard too. Oh, dude, that's dope. I want a giraffe in my yard. Um, so yeah, I th- believe it's a sign of wealth. We have a fucking giraffe right here, dude. Boom, Jeffrey the giraffe. It's not the same. Uh, but uh, yeah, um. It's a sign of wealth to have that, but it's kind of... Be- All right, this story has me skeptical because I think they're like, yeah, let's just say it's a masturbating ape. But it's actually really scratching his balls. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, I don't know. 
you, you take it as as you want it, but uh, if you want to go to Athelhampton uh, Hall and witness, get, the hopefully you can get a picture of the masturbating ape. And send it to ghostft at yahoo.com. Yep. yep. Uh, and we'll show the masturbating ape. Yes, we will show everyone the masturbating ape on a future episode. Okay, and can I say my statement almost? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, like the one story said, uh, their friends didn't want to stay over because of all the stuff that's happening and everything like that. Yep. But back, back in my fourth or third grade, one of those two, um, I had a bunch of friends that they didn't want to come over because I, t- I, t- I told ghost stories. <laughs> so so your friends so that's why i've always said that you haven't had any friends because uh you didn't bring them over huh they they don't want to come over they don't want to come over because they know exactly what's coming. uh i do remember yeah i believe your one friend uh we had him freaked out that one night a little bit oh yeah yeah um i'm not gonna name his name but uh yeah he seemed like he was freaked out maybe a little bit of the house um i do know justin uh, uh, Justin. Justin, uh, he he watches over our house uh, when we're on vacation or whatnot, and lets the dog in and out. And uh, I know that he's been uh, touched. Touched. <laughs> if can we say touched? Uh, he thought something was trying to get his butt while he was laying on the couch. <laughs> How do you say it? butt stuff? M- well, maybe we do have a masturbating ape. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe we got an anal raping ape. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to ask Justin and be like, was it the monkey? Was it an ape? See, but, and then another reason why none of my friends come over, but like, they all call me like the ballsy of the group because they think like I, I live in the haunted house. I'm not afraid of anything, which is true. Not today. But not today because I today. let my guard down. <laughs> Uh, so, so your friend, do your friends believe that you live in a haunted house or they're like, you know, you're full of it? Oh, uh, it, it's mixed. Uh, I have a bunch of friends that do believe some don't believe. And then like, I had like a whole two hour conversation with this one person. Uh, we, we were just talking about like paranormal stuff and everything like that. I was like, do you believe? She's like. Yeah, I believe. And then I talked to my friend. He's like, nah, fam, I don't believe. Yeah, and you know, I get that too. Uh, I get people that, I don't know, they really judge me on it, but they they, they think I'm weird um, because I am so far into this paranormal thing. You know, I try to get as much podcasts and TV shows and movies and documentaries, uh, any kind of stories I can read up on. You know, it's, it's what I... I, I live for it now because I'm trying to understand exactly what we're dealing with. See, ourselves. that's the same thing. Like when people talk about ghost stories, I'm like, I top that. I top that. Yeah. yeah and, and people are like, and, and I always love it. And that's why I expect more stories to be sent in to ghostft at yahoo.com is that I am out somewhere. And I'm like, uh, they're like, well, what's your hobby? I'm like, uh, paranormal stuff. And they're like, oh, blah blah blah, you know that stuff. There's fake. That's fake. And then, but they but they I always they always one story. They, yeah they always lead up with, but you know there was this one time, you know, and then they go into you know what do you think you know explain their story and then what do you think I'm Wait, like I think I think we have a new tagline now. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone has a story to tell. So tell it at Goat F T at yahoo.com and have your tale told right here on GFT ghost freaking talking all right guys so that is the story of the masturbating ghost don't know why he's masturbating uh masturbating ape i should say we, we you know i i haven't come across a masturbating ghost before he's uh, spanking the monkey now uh, the monkey was spanking his own self that's why his name is Spank the Monkey. Spank the Monkey. So uh, if you guys want, go and stay at the, I forgot what this place was called, Apple. Af- a- a- apple. Apple something. A- apple something. Apple Cider Town. Apple after, after Hompton Hall. I don't know. Yeah, that hall. Yeah, that <laughs> hall place over there in mighty old England, 
Okay, I wonder if so, the queen went to so, it. So go, so go over there and see if you can uh, get married next to a masturbating ghost. And uh, hopefully you can get a picture taken with him. Be like, hi, honey. Billy, come take a picture with the masturbating monkey. Oh, is that, sorry, is that ectoplasm on your ear? Nah. Ew, yeah, no, that's not nasty. ectoplasm. That's not ectoplasm. <laughs> he slimed me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been slimed. All right, guys. So after this break, we're going to give you our trailer reviews for the upcoming horror season coming at you now. All right, so go to the Ghost Freaking Talking Gear shop. You follow the link and order your very own Ghost Freaking Talking t-shirt. Many designs, many colors are available. And you can even get it put on a coffee mug or a dog bandana. All right, guys, so we are in... Coming up on the holiday season, uh, I believe I seen the other day we were a hundred days away from Halloween, which is another story we we probably should have brought up is that they want to change the date of Halloween. I think that'll be next week's. Yeah, so maybe next week we'll go over that they want to change the date of Halloween to the last Saturday of October, which is stupid. Uh, which is dumb. Because you could be celebrating almost a complete week before actual... Yeah, actual Halloween. Uh, the 31st. And, you know, it. We'll, we'll dive into the whole history of Halloween. How about that? We'll, we'll, do, we'll dive into the history of Halloween and why it's dated that way. And uh, we'll, we'll yell at the people trying to change that date. Yeah. But tonight, we're going to talk about the spooky movies that will be coming out. And uh, we're going to bring three of them at you. And I believe we're going to start off with one of my favorite books growing up as a kid. Uh, and it is... Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, uh, which is, you know, like I said, one of my favorite books. Uh, and what was cool about this book is that uh, it wasn't your, your baby goosebumps shit. Um, I, I, I like the Goosebumps books you because they, they, they kind of, you know, have a little bit of spook Goosebumps. towards it, but they kid it, you know, make it kitty. Uh, the, the scary stories to tell in the dark, it was like, boom, slap you in the face. This <laughs> chick's head's going to roll off, right? You're like, um, dang, bro. And uh, part of our other channel that we run, uh, the Brickhead Family, uh, I every Halloween I kind of pick a story or two out of that book and I read it. Um, and the stories never get old. Uh, they are awesome. And what they are going to do is they're going to make an entire movie out of these stories. Is it like, it's really hard to explain what I'm thinking it would be. Yeah, I, I think, uh, it's going to be kind of the way they went with the Goosebumps movie where they kind of tie in all these different stories together into one movie. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to be like one of those movies where, you know, it splits off to three different movies within one movie. Uh, I think it's going to tie in. So uh, let's, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump over here and we will give you our reactions uh, to these trailers. So let's watch Scary Stories, The Tale of the Dog. Oh, damn. Some people believe... If we repeat stories often enough, uh, the scarecrow look pretty cool. They become real. They make us who we are. That can be scary. Oh. Eat it, Harold. Ooh, ooh, dude, he's dead. You know he's gonna be dead. Do you want to see a haunted house? No, I won't do. Would you like to see a dead Some body? Some kids went missing, so they boarded it up. Okay, we saw it. Should we go now? <laughs> that would be me. Yep, that's you right there, dude. What's that? It's a book of scary stories. Ah. Tell me a story. Oh, Harold. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Yep, You're good. gone, bro. Peace out. Nice knowing you there, uh. Hey, what's going on? Tommy's missing. Tommy's name was in the book. There's no way it's actually connected, right? 
Okay, what if what happens in the book is exactly what's happened for real? Oh my god. Andy! Stella! Listen, you're in the next story. We're reading what's it right up? here. It's a corpse looking for her missing toe. Oh, that's kind of cool. That was kind of a cool graphic. I'm afraid that we woke something up. Oh. You shouldn't have taken the book. We've got to stop it. Whoa. Ah, oh, I can't believe that. That was creepy. Sarah Bellows' book. Where the stories write themselves and it all comes alive. Yeah. This actually looks really good, dude. Yeah, I wanna say that it actually looks good. I was afraid that they would make this kid like. The Jangling Man is coming. Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, sweet. Scary stories to tell in the dark, man. I'm liking it. All right, so what are your initial thoughts of scary stories to tell in the dark? Uh, that was actually really good. Yeah, um, that has me excited. Um, I was afraid that we were going to get some kind of watered down. Like a goosebumps almost. Like a PBS, you know, show. Uh, but, dude, it looks like they're not holding back on that. They're like, yo, these are for the older kids. Yeah. Let's freaking raise the roof yeah because i remember back in school that there were some schools that actually banned scary stories to tell in the dark from being in their libraries wait what yeah uh the book was actually banned in some schools uh for being too violent for kids to read um but i better they better have uh, uh a couple of stories that i really like in there i hope hopefully they have uh the vasha or uh, I'm here to wash and vipe your windows. It's the viper. Oh, I am the, the viper. viper. I am here to wash and vipe your windows. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so uh, I, I think they, they might have something going there, man. Um, I, I, We all knew from the beginning that that dude was going to die. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom, Tommy's done, dude. Uh, it's always that jerk kid that always has to push the buttons. Uh, but yeah, uh, I am definitely, this will definitely be, cause we don't get out to the movie theaters too often to see stuff. We usually just wait till it, you know, either hits on uh, Netflix or the movie store or something like that. Plus I never seen a really scary movie in the theater. So oh, this might be my dude. first one. All right. Yeah. So definitely, we will definitely take it to this one. I think this one is the first one out of these three movies that we're reviewing that is coming out first. I think this one's coming out August. I didn't, I didn't really see the date that it said it was coming out, but uh, that's a definitely a movie theater movie for me. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, uh, just as a side note, if you guys ever want to hear me actually review some weird movies, uh, I'm going to leave a link right here uh, to a channel you guys need to check out, and it is... Uh, hold on a second. I'm drawing a the, blank. The Freak Show. Oh, yeah. It is the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Uh, they do post some of their shows here on YouTube. Uh, otherwise, you can find them on iTunes or wherever else you find your podcasting. I've sat in on probably about 30 shows of theirs, but they've That's gone awesome. on for the last, pff, I don't know, seven, eight years, though. Jesus. Yeah, uh, without missing a week. So if you guys want some awesome stuff and uh they know their movies pretty good but what they do is uh we all sit around uh we watch a really bad movie or a really you know sometimes they get some good ones and uh we sit around we drink beer and uh we sit around a bar and we bullshit about it oh so it's like an mst3k it's kind of like an mst3k but uh, we don't you know talk about the movie while we're watching it uh we will watch the movie and then sit down and you know hash it out that way yeah so if you guys want the saturday night freak show podcast check them out right there all right guys so we're about to move into movie number two so movie number one we are saying it is a go for scary stories to tell in the dark let us know what you think of scary stories to tell in the dark in the comment section below but now it is time to revisit we should watch it an old friend of ours his name is pennywise i hate 
I hate clowns. I hate clowns myself. I hate clowns. Um, before we go into the trailer for It Part 2, what was your thoughts of It Part 1? Uh, the first one's way scarier. Because uh, it's an the, actual the, clown clown. The original one you find more scary? Yeah, because th- they made this clown too scary, but it wasn't that scary. Yeah, You it, take a, like an actual clown clown, it's freaking creepy as yeah, yeah, they they definitely tried to creep out this Pennywise, which I think he's got a cool look, but he misses the the look of what that original yeah. Pennywise was, where it's like, beep, beep, Georgie. Yeah. All right, so um, we're going to hop in and look at the trailer for the highly anticipated It, it two. Part 2. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is It Chapter 2. This is the final trailer for It Chapter 2. So, uh, buckle in, buddy boy. Something happens to you when you leave this town. All right, so in this one, all the the kids are grown up. Um, It follows me in the book where it goes into having all the kids uh, that's grown up. That's why it's called Chapter 2. Pennywise, you know, it's, it's a cool looking Pennywise, but I definitely losers? appreciate the, the older clown look. We made yeah. Notes. I swear. If it isn't dead, if it ever comes back, we'll come back to him. We didn't stop it. Pennywise. At least they got, you know, the older the people that kind of look like the kids. Yeah. We can't let it happen again. Dude, I hate haunted houses that do the clown rooms, dude. I hate that shit. Bam! (laughs) I've been there. Yeah. Oh, it's It's not that scary to me. Six. For 27 years. I dreamt of you. Time to get your revenge. I dreamt of you. I missed you. We need to finish it. For good. I've seen all of us die. It consumes us from the inside until we don't have a choice anymore. Chapter 2, September 6. <laughs> <laughs> is that your reaction? No, no. My no. reaction is this. You got a ma? Yeah. Is that a ma? If you had a uh, an emoji, would it be the meh emoji? Yeah, it would be meh. Yeah? Meh. Hi, I'm, I'm Frank, and I'm the meh, meh. emoji. Meh. Uh, what was scarier, the It trailer or the emoji movie? Emoji movie. <laughs> Uh, it too. Uh, coming September. What was it? Six. Yeah, September six. Okay, so um, the first one I thought was a pretty decent movie. I thought it was a. I liked it. I liked the first one, yeah. But you know, it, it's kind of like we just saw the Lion King. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the the remake of the Lion King that they did with the live action, well, computer generated lions. Um, there's just some movies that you just don't touch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Lion King was one of those, and I feel that uh, it probably shouldn't have been touched again. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like it should have been touched again. Because uh, I think they did it good the first time around, and I just think you know. I, I all right. I just I'm telling you, I just don't like how the clown looks. the The original was way scarier because you know it's just a normal clown. No one's going to sp- suspect a normal clown. I don't know, dude. I'm I'm on the fence with it because, you know, I wanted to like it. 
The clown, I think the clown looks creepy as hell, but I do like the original simplicity of Tim Curry's clown in the original uh, one that was released on TV, uh, which back in the day they couldn't do too much, you know, blood wise or any kind of like that on, you know, on national broadcast TV. But now you can put as much blood as you want. Uh, well, this is, you know, straight out to the movie. And I believe I read somewhere that this movie set the record for most fake blood used in a movie. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. I believe I, I will have to double check and I will correct myself on next week's episode if, if this isn't true. But I believe they said that they used the most gallons of fake blood on the It 2 movie. Um, so... Stay tuned for that. Uh, let us know. Are you looking forward to it too? Uh, I do know that it, uh, this Pennywise has become a huge, um, has a huge following now. Yeah, I know uh, that. Cosplayers are cosplaying it like crazy, and we saw one at uh, Planet FunkCon right here. Uh, you want to check out this on our Brickhead Family channel? We went to Planet FunkCon, and there was a a little girl. Well, I would say she's younger. About she's probably like eight or ten. Yeah, she dressed up as Pennywise, and it was really cool. She was carrying around this big ass red balloon, and it was just creepy, you know. And I get it. That's what they're going for. They're going for the 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 scary. Uh, but I think I would shit my pants more if Tim Curry was coming around with his Pennywise. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. All right. So you're saying pass on it too? Yeah. Or is this a, a wait till it comes on Netflix movie? Uh, it's it's more of like, it's if it's on sale at the freaking. Oh, so you're waiting for the bargain bin? Yeah, I'm waiting for the bargain bin. All right, so it too for you is not a go to the movie theaters and see it. No, not all at right. all. All right, so as of right now, we are with a yes, go and see scary stories to tell in the dark. That's a movie theater watch. It too, you know, I can wait. I, I waited for the first one to, to reach, you know, I think it was like an HBO or something when we, we watched it. Um, but uh, No, we also got it. Uh, did we buy it? Wait, no, that we got the original one. Yeah, we, we, get we the bought the – we went out. We, we couldn't get the, the – we, we had to go out and buy the original one. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, uh, let us know in the comments section. Are we being too rough on it too? I think we are. It's just yeah. – yeah, we're the we're trailer little, sucked. Yeah, I'm sorry. we're a little jaded, and we 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 love our old stuff. So we're old school. We're old timers. All right, guys. So that is our reactions for it to the second chapter. Now we're going to move on to a movie that I actually got in an argument with somebody the other day about Zombieland. Why does Zombieland need a sequel? It did a perfect movie the first time around. Same. Same, same, yeah. Same, All right, same. so hold on for your comments until after we get watching this trailer for Zombieland 2. Double Tap? Yeah, it's called Double Tap. Hmm. And that is roll number two? Was that roll number two was Double Tap? I don't know. I don't know. It's time to nut up or shut up. There we go. The official trailer. Comes up. Harrelson, he was awesome in the first one. I think they all did really good. I, I don't like her too much, but and Emma Stone. Oh, I love you, Emma Stone. Day. Zombie kill of the week, you know. Oh, they're going to the White House. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, Possum <laughs> Sorry, just you in that chair. I think it would have made a damn fine president. You would have brought a real <laughs> dignity to the office. You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> welcome hey, if Trump could do it, he could definitely do it. Life is about more than just survival. We were a family. Dysfunctional, sure, but what family isn't? Merry Christmas! <laughs> what would you like, little girl? i really like for you to stop calling me little girl. <laughs> Do you know what I would like? I don't give a shit what you know. <laughs> <laughs> he felt oh, so good to be on the move again. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, Hi, I'm Colin Newsy. This is Tallahassee. Hey Paul Blart, is this your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he oh, just called uh, the dad. dad. Oh, so she knows the rules? I told her just a few of them. Uh -oh. 73, and are there more? You're cute. I like it. Oh, it's a <laughs> uh Oh, they're so in paradise. My sister is gone. She picked up a boy. He's from Berkeley. Huh? Berkeley. You don't have weed, do you? <laughs> do I look like the type of person that would have weed? I'm sorry. <laughs> Boom! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hippies, I just want to beat the shit out of them. We're gonna go get her. We ride it, Dawn. Oh, yeah. Don't get the man, please. Start talking. You first. Oh, man, they're, they're bringing way, way too many people on them. Yeah. Elvis! Yes, yes. No, that zombie killed Elvis. Luis. Elvis fell ahead, dude. Oh, dude. No, that's my ride. Oh, my apologies, little what? Elvis. More people? Is it me, or does, does he kind of remind you of... I don't, I don't like you. <laughs> At all. I think you double parked. <laughs> or more perpendicular oh, parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is going on here? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Bye, Liz <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is Double Tap Zombieland 2, which was like kind of a surprise trailer because it didn't drop at Comic-Con. It just kind of dropped in the middle of the week this week. Um, what are your thoughts on Zombieland Two? See, um, uh, Zombieland One should should be the only Zombieland because you can't put another Zombieland onto Zombieland. You just can't do that. Uh, I do know that they came out with a failed attempt at a Zombieland TV show. Yeah. Um, I forgot. Failed. I forgot who had that. It was Hulu or Netflix or someone. Someone had that and it like totally defunct. Oh, it was a uh, prime. I think it was a prime show. And, uh, you know, they didn't even bring back the same characters. They tried playing, uh, bringing new actors playing those roles, which, you know, you can't do happen. that. You can't. Uh, do that. So we do finally get a zombie land two. A lot of people wanted zombie land two. There were some people. Okay. Like you that doesn't want a zombie land two. I had, I always wanted a zombie land two. Right. But now I think about it. Zombie land two. Shouldn't have had a second one. Uh, this one looks like they are trying to introduce way too many people into it. I uh, think it's to where, like, they're going to be the group now. Maybe they're trying to, maybe for the third one, is actually their backstory. Uh, I don't know about that. But uh, it, it kind of, all right, it definitely had a moment in that trailer where there was a, Another zombie movie, one of my favorite all time zombie movies, Shaun of the Dead. There was a Shaun of the Dead moment in that movie. What? Where the oh, yeah. their doubles oh, come yeah. walk, you know, because in Shaun of the Dead, they kind of walk past each other. And, you know, it was kind of like the carbon copy of his own group. And they're doing this, they, they rip off that same joke from Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, at the end, where we're uh, Tallahassee and Columbus. Yeah. Uh, that they, they see their their doppelganger type thing going on, yeah, uh, which you know I okay guys uh, don't don't uh, there's just way too many people that look like in that trailer for for new uh, new actors in the movie. I, I like the simplicity of the first one where it was just you know it was them you know going across the country becoming a family kill, basically yeah, becoming yeah. a family uh, killing zombies along the way. And, uh, and looking, business is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I, I'm kind of tossed. I, I'm really excited. I want to see it. I don't. Is it a have to go to the movie theater and see it? No, I'll wait till it comes out on DVD. Really? Yeah. You seemed really excited when you sent me the trailer for it the other day. I did because I didn't know. It was a big surprise to me. I didn't think they were making a second one. Yeah, it was long time rumored that we were getting a Zombie Land two. Like long time rumored. Yeah, like three years ago. So uh, that's why and, I just and like it just they always got kind of put put on the back burner, put on the back burner, and all of a sudden it, they're just like, boom, we got Zombie Land two ready for you guys. <laughs> yeah. All double tap. Uh, so, so you're you're in the pool that you don't think there should have been a Zombie Land two. It shouldn't be Zombie Land Two, but I'll still watch it, of course. Yes, I I love. I think it's a good cast of characters. The original cast of characters. I don't think we needed the new ones. Yeah. Um. I think I think that was that's going to be their downfall. They should have just gave us 
how they were coping through life without throwing in all these other people that want to make a cameo in it because it's Zombieland. So the first one did so good. Yeah, we want to be in Zombieland too. So let's throw us in there for two seconds and make it a shit show. Because that's the whole thing of Zombieland. You were like the only people in Zombieland. Yeah. You can't bring in more people. Yeah, but here's the question. Do they bring Bill Murray back in a role? Didn't they say that they were going to bring back Bill Murray? Um, I'd like to know how. Maybe it's him in a zombie form. Because, you know, he was shot. They didn't really show him being, you know, de-brained or anything. I don't know. All right, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comment section below. What did you think of these trailers? Are these uh, day one go out and watch, you know, midnight release? Um, I think out of the three, the one that I would actually go to the movie theaters and see is Scary, Scary Stories, Stories to Tell, Tell in the Dark. dark. Yeah, that's that me. is the one that I am really looking forward to. Um, you know, and so what? So that's the only one you would want to go to the movie theaters. Yeah, I'll go to the movie theaters for that one. Okay, okay. So let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite and which one will you see in the movie theaters. All right, guys. So. Time to wrap this bad boy up with a nice bow. All right, guys, so that is the end of the show. You don't have to go home, but we you can't, can't stay, stay here. here. All right, guys, so it is closing time here on GFT, uh, Ghost Frickin' Talking. Uh, this is episode three for GFT, and hopefully you guys have stuck around and enjoyed all the fun with us. Uh, let us know in the comment section below, what would you like to see different on our show? Uh, this is an ever-evolving show, hopefully. Uh, we can work out some kinks. Tell us what, because we saw a dramatic change between week one and week two, so we want to find out where do we go wrong in week two, if and let think. us know in the comments. Uh, this should be an ever-evolving show. Let us know what we're doing wrong or what we're doing good. Uh, do you like the way we do these segments? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Or write to us at ghostft at yahoo.com. And if you have a personal ghost story, also send it in to ghostft at yahoo.com. Okay, so if you send in your personal story, we will get it read right here on Ghost FT. Uh, so make sure, everyone, to subscribe here to Ghost Freaking Talking. And click that notification bell so you get notified when we post a new video. We are also on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Uh, so make sure to go and like and follow on those two as well. Also, we do have a merch shop in the description below. Hit the link and order yourself a Brickhead Family t-shirt. You will not be disappointed with how awesome these shirts are. So thank you to Slow Death for this awesome design. So if you want to check out Slow Death, their link is also in the description below. All right, guys. So we're still trying to work on a, a closing tagline. Do you want to try to test out a closing tagline? <clears throat> Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone has a story to tell. Uh, I don't know how that one kind of works for me. I, I kind of like the, the one that I worked with last year, last week. Stay oh. spooky. Everyone, stay S spooky. Stay spooky. Stay spooky. But, you know, I always like to close with. And good evening. Good evening.